back to the Keller Skills video series. Um, I'm here with Miss Terry. We're, we're showing you badminton skills. So we're going to cover three skills. Uh, the drive, the clear, and the smash. And these are more exclusive to badminton. So the drive and the clear are very similar. The idea is we want to hit the birdie deep. So it does not matter where I'm at on the court, but I want to get the birdie to land somewhere in the last couple feet of my opponent's court. So I could be all the way at the back, and I'm right now I'm about at the back of the court. I want to get the birdie to land all the way back there because I want my opponent to have to move. So the clear, I'm just trying to hit the birdie as far as I can in, but I'm, gonna hit, I'm hitting it high. So if the birdie is flying, i got one birdie in my hand and one I'm going to toss in the air. So as the birdie's flying, the clear is high and deep. I could hit it sidearm, it could be underhand, it doesn't matter. So if I were lower, the clear is low and deep. It looked like it landed a little out. But the idea is the clear is hit high and deep. The drive is not high. The drive is low. So if I see my opponent all going over to one side of the court maybe and I want to hit it deep but I need to get it there right now and the birdie is low I'm gonna keep the birdie low but I want to hit it deep so the drive is low and deep the clear is high and deep and if I'm actually trying to teach you how to hit it um, I want to make sure I have good hand-eye coordination. I want to see where the birdie is because I need the birdie to hit right in the middle of the racket. Or better yet, I need the racket to contact the birdie in the middle. So I'm going to be looking at the birdie. Wherever it's going, wherever it's at, I'm going to be looking at it. I want to contact the birdie somewhere in front of me, but not above my waist. This will not work above my waist. And then lastly, how, I, how the racket is facing my racket head is pointed up, I'm probably going to hit the birdie up, especially if I am following through up. So that would be the clear. The drive, I want to contact the birdie with my racket head facing forward, and I want to continue my follow through forward. So I've got a couple more birdies. Let's make sure I have two. I do. Exactly two. So here would be the clear, racket head up, hitting deep and high. And then the drive, racket head straight, hitting, driving it straight forward. Okay? Uh, we're going to switch sides really quick because I'm out of birdies. So on this side now, instead of the, the drive or the clear, let's talk about the smash. Smash is exactly the same style as spiking in volleyball. So in the spike, I want to hit the ball down. Well, that's what I want to do in the smash. Anytime that the birdie is high up in the air and traveling relatively slow, I want to hit this birdie down. Down and hard so my opponent can't get to it. The only problem is when I make contact with the birdie, so let's say I make contact here, I'm not going to stop. My momentum will keep going forward. So I can't hit the net. The racket cannot hit the net at all. And then some people will, will stay right up here at the front, and they'll try to hit it back at somebody. Well, you cannot hit a birdie that's on the other side of the net. So I cannot reach over. I cannot hit the net. Anything else is fair game. So if my birdie is up in the air, I want to try and smash it down very quickly and hit it over the net. In this case, I hit the net and it went down, so smash down. If I had an opponent on my side of the court, or on the other side of the court, I might want to hit it right at them, hard. Because if a birdie comes right at me, how am I going to hit it? But again, smash up in the air. I'm hitting the birdie down. I'm not going to be holding it, obviously. The birdie is flying. So when it's up, I want to hit it down with some force. 
as you were, if you were to practice this, I would practice hitting it soft. Hit it soft. Okay, some key teaching points to help us with this. You're going to want to have your opposite foot forward. If I'm hitting with my right hand, I'm going to want to have my left foot forward. Because if I have my right foot forward, I'm going to eventually get off balance or I'm going to hit the net because I'm too close. So opposite foot forward. I'm going to have my racket up in the air before I even go to hit the birdie. I'm not going to be down at my side and then suddenly try to hit it. Prepare yourself. When I do go to make contact with this birdie, I'm going to make contact in front of me with my racket head facing down. I'm not going to contact the birdie behind me. My racket head is facing up. I'm not going to hit it even with me. My racket head is facing forward. So I want to contact the birdie out in front of me with the racket head facing down. And then when I do make contact, the wrist is so important here. I'm going to snap my wrist down. Because now I can hit it forcefully and quickly. So. Okay, I do not have to have a ton of body movement here. I just want to be prepared with balance. Okay, so we just covered the drive, the clear, and the smash. The drive is meant to hit deep, but straight, low. And it's underhand. The clear, again, underhand, but you're hitting the birdie high and deep. And the smash is an attacking, um, attacking hit, contacting the birdie in front of me, hitting the birdie down and hard. Again, thank you for uh, tuning in to this Ke Keller Skills video series. Uh, remember to subscribe. Visit our channel for any skills. We will uh, come back at you with um, defensive, defensive skills in badminton.